Hi everyone, this is Autopostrophe, let's check out Space on Nintendo Switch. Wind created the inverse and keeps its worlds intact. The ancients built great networks to harness the energy called wind. The ancients prospered, but this would not last. Demigods arose and drained the inverse. The world ended. It is said the ancients tried to escape the inverse, but failed in their last hour. Now the world and its secrets await. It's a lot harder than it looks.
Hello? Is anybody there? Hmm. The unit shows no reaction to external stimuli, despite having components for language comprehension. I'll try that again. Cartographer, can you hear me? Yes? Yes, it worked. Greetings, fellow life form. I am the archaeologist, and... Uh, oh my. Now that you've been activated, I don't know quite... I don't know where... Where to begin? Who am I? I suppose that's a proper place to start, yes. You, my friend, are an autonomous flying machine. The first our world has seen in a great deal of time. Most likely since the time of the ancients. I constructed you from designs I found on one of their relics. And now, here you are, alive. And more so speaking to me. Astounding. You're asking questions that I don't believe you were programmed to ask. Why am I here? I was hoping you could be my research assistant, if you will. As an archaeologist, I study the ancients, a highly advanced civilization who once lived here. However, in my expeditions, I found that there were places I couldn't reach, areas I couldn't access. I needed a partner. I need you to soar where I can't reach and help me chart the uncharted. Hence, I named you Cartographer. Uh, let's get to work. Alright, let's talk more discovery. It's time to get to work. Hopefully you didn't skip your flight simulation. Because you're about to get a crash course in relic collection. So let's test those wings and collect it. Then bring, bring it back to me to analyze. I can't wait to see what it is. Oh, one last thing. For now, you should stick to the air. Your current airframe doesn't have the ability to deal with water quite yet. Good luck. Battery, huh? Let's see, this device houses and harnesses wind to be used in a variety of apparatuses. Despite its, despite its age, it appears that none of its wind has been depleted. It continues as if nothing's ever used. This device houses and harnesses wind in a variety of. Yeah. Wind phenomena. The ancients were drawn to the living influences wind held over the inverse. Bearing witness to its many phenomena, they resolved to pursue its master. Job. Send me the relic so I can analyze it. Great, right. just give me a moment to study it. Why don't you take this chance to practice your flying some more? This may take some time. I'll notify you when the analysis is complete. See you soon. Oh my, this relic is no ordinary find. If my hypothesis is correct, it may allow us to explore far greater reaches than I first thought. Would you like to hear my theory? Yeah. See, this relic is a large reservoir of wind, the main source of energy for the inverse. This device uses wind to activate ancient gun technology. For instance, it opened the door. You can now interact with ancient technology if you... You can now interact with ancient technology. If it opened that door, what else can it activate? Beyond this cave lies the inverse. I spend my days exploring, exploring in silence, journeying through abandoned structures, 
hoping to find anything the ancients may have left behind. By collecting and studying relics, I hope to record as much as I can about the inverse. This way I can learn of its past and maintain its history. As with this room, the gates of the inverse have been shut for a long time, but you can open the way. What do you say, cartographer? Do you want to see what secrets the inverse and ancients hold? Do you want to unravel the mystery of this place together? Yeah, let's go. Fantastic. By the way, you can access the relics you've collected via your airframe's digital menu. Take a look at it when you get a chance. Now, let's depart. Definitely got frame rate problems. <laughs> There's really not a lot going on graphically, but uh, maybe that's deceptive. Wow, nice landing. While you're here, is there anything you'd like to more no know more about? Is there anything else you'd like to know? What's the relics? Relics represent a link to the past, to a world controlled by the ancients. And as you can see, they're useful. They help me build you and help you open the door. Imagine what else they could teach us. Is there anything else you'd like to know? The ancients. They were a highly advanced civilization that once lived here. Their technology surpassed anything I've ever been able to create, at least until you. I've studied them all my life, but feel as if I know very little about them. If you can help me uncover the more relics, I'm certain we'll discover more about them. Is there anything else you want to know? How'd you get here? Lucky for me, there were underwater, underwater, tunner, underwater tunnels between these rooms. Don't be jealous. I may have fins, but you have wings. That's why I gave you that airframe, after all. That and flying terrifies me. Is there anything else? Yeah. Let's find a way out of this cave. Well, here we are, the mouth of the cave. Just fly on through the tunnel and... Oh, now this is a problem. The tunnel's blocked. Hey, see those ropes? Think you can cut them, like with your wings? You should be able to cut them with your wings. You're a rugged looking creature, I dare... I dare say you could. If you're running low on space, try drifting around, around walls to make tight turns. In the places I want to show you, drifting will come in handy. Now then, fly. Fantastic work! Now we can leave this place. I'm excited to see what you can do out there. Do whatever you have to uh, in order to collect relics. Cartographer, cut ropes, smash through walls if you have to. Create new paths. Just watch your head. You never know what those ropes may be attached to. Keep flying. I'll see you soon.
Mm, oh, trippy. Life after the engines. Trapped for untold centuries, they wove their homes like branches around the great mountains. Theirs was a life of simple decline, reluctantly drawing from past strength in gentle uh, paraticism. Parat paraticism? They lived with the hope that this state would bring wisdom and enlightenment. Just allow you to rotate before launching. You're not going to believe this, but with the right relics, I might be able to upgrade your airframe cart. Ha! Huh, did I just call you cart? That sounds good on you, cart prefer. Surely we can find the parts uh, we need around here some somewhere. Find those relics. Who knows what kind of upgrades we'll find. Hmm. Oh, what about cutting those ropes? Last time you cut ropes, you discovered a secret passage. It could hurt to try it again. Maybe that will, you know, shake something loose. Anyway, keep at it. I'm rooting for you. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Think of what's waiting to be discovered. Great available. Crystallized machinery. This relic unlock this relic unlocks the piano airframe. Machine cart. This relic unlocks the piano airframe.
I'll be glad to have your services underwater, cartographer. My sub's not really as agile as you, and there are plenty of treasures to be found in the deep new places to explore. Speaking of new places, you spark off my curiosity. Just like your airframe, there's no reason for us to just stop here. Several ancient sources reference a constellation of chambers, multiple worlds, but this is the only one I've ever seen. I suspect that structure is what the ancients called a traverse gate. Apparently, they somehow used them to travel between chambers. Which world is beyond it, or what it looks like, I don't know. But as long as it remains unlocked, we'll never know. If it hasn't reacted to your battery already, then maybe it needs more power. Naturally. Now that I think about it, the energy inside that aquarium might be enough power enough to power the gate. If so, we're not far from finally seeing the rest of the inverse. Why don't we give it a shot? Try and get that tank open. Do you see the central pool? I wager that it contains some sort of unlocking mechanism. I can't reach it, but perhaps you can dive in from above. Let's try out that new airframe. Yeah, that's fine.
was a real trip. <laughs> if it was only uh, music based, then it could be like in this in the. Uh, Uh, the uh, Child of Eden uh, series. Has that same kind of weird look to it. Loose piece. Don't fossil. These rem these remains seem to have undergone an aggressive and accelerated petrification. The bones have been replaced with a crystalline matter. The crystal seems to grow best where energy would have naturally congest uh, congregated. Individually, each crystal emits a small portion of heat and light accumulated. The accumulation of this power would be enough to provide daylight for an entire civilization.
Cartographer, did you see that? The sun. It's moving. Did you somehow power it when you opened the cage? An enormous ball of collected wind, seemingly moving of its own accord, swimming as if alive. Wait, you don't think. Okay, my first hypothesis. It's a massive wind propelling itself around the chamber with its own power. Though I'm not sure why wind would behave this way. Or hypothesis number two. We've stumbled across something big. Something of legend. If that's the case, I'm not sure if I can even begin to explain all the significance of it being here. Demigods were, or are, extremely dangerous creatures. In all the stories, they were the reason the Infers died. But this one's real. Imagine the wind it's holding. If you're careful, maybe you can get a closer look. I tried swimming near the demigod myself, but, but was repelled. It's just too blindingly incandescent. Perhaps you could just find an opening. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Uh, okay, uh, this is uh, out of hush reading, watching Inner Space on Nintendo Switch. 
Well, it's a uh, gentle exploration game, so um, it doesn't necessarily guide you from one objective to the other. You're supposed to kind of fly around and cluck stuff and discover stuff on your own. Uh, so in that respect, it's kind of cool. It's just a relaxing little game. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't run very well on this system. Uh, so I suspect it's made for a, a, a much higher powered system. And I'm not sure what they could do to fix the performance on it. It doesn't really affect the gameplay necessarily, uh, but it does kind of take away from the overall visual presentation. And uh, the game's all about visuals. <laughs> so um, that, that hurts it uh, if that's the intent, is to provide a nice, smooth, relaxing experience. Uh, still, I can see myself playing this uh, kind of off and on, you know, when I'm feeling uh, relaxed and maybe right before bed I'll, you know, fly around in the world and see what I can discover. Uh, but that's all there really is to it. So if uh, th if that seems appealing to you, then uh, pick it up for yourself. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.